Hey, welcome back to M Hood Fishing. Why don't you join me today on a scouting mission? I'm checking out an area that I've never been to and I know very little about. What I'm looking for today is obviously fishable water, place maybe to catch bait. I'm looking for areas where the river is backed up into and there's no strong current, but it's deep enough to hold fish. And I found my first area right here. Check it out. We're gonna walk down here. We're probably gonna spook what I'm gonna show you. But can you see it? Watch for the water to spook. He might not spook. You guys see that out there? I don't know if you see that, but that was a baby alligator. Now, this ditch right here, I don't think it's too deep. I think it's fairly shallow. And I just got to this area. Let's go check out some other spots and then I'll make up my mind and we will fish. Come on. All right. So I'm cruising through an area that is a port. Some places I'm gonna see, I might not be able to legally fish. If there's no fence around it, maybe that's the rule of thumb here, right? But there might be people here that I could ask Wow, look at this. This is a little better. Probably still shallow, but deeper than the first spot we looked at. River's just beyond that pier there. The Mississippi is still in a major flood stage. Down here where I'm at, it is hovering just under 58 feet above flood stage, which I think is 48 here. Might come back to this. There's some other spots I want to check out. This is almost like the one we just looked at. Not very far from it. Looks like a legal spot to fish from the road anyway. Might be deeper than that last one. Let's move on. There's a few more like this. This one looks promising except for the overhead high wires. They're not far overhead. I have to cast underneath them. So I'm not really into it. I kind of like this spot lines aren't too much of a problem they're a little bit of a problem but not too much you can cast out this way here wow so much water over here let's go check out another spot this looks interesting same problem with high wires though power lines as you can see see that we're right next to a boat ramp it's kind of windy apologize for that there's a big expanse of water over here. We're getting close to the mouth of a creek at this point. It's not too far away. I think I've found a, a spot to fish. Pretty much at the end of the uh, journey here. I could go a little further, but there's no water after this bit of water here that we're stopped at. There is a road that leads down towards the river but as you can see here, it is barred. So let's walk around and check stuff out and get ready. I think we're gonna fish this. Look how big it is. It's gotta be deep enough to hold some nice cats in it. Maybe a gar or two, probably several. Not sure how deep this is. Oh, I just saw a fish come up to the top. It looks deep enough to fish. As you can see, I'm standing high up. But when I, when I have a fish, I can get down to it. River is definitely up in here. As you can see, see over here in the distance, if you look, you'll see a telephone pole. Just beyond it is the river. So the river is definitely up in here. Wonder what kind of fish it holds. We can guess that it's definitely got catfish, right? I bet you. Oh, whenever I'm at a new spot, 
and I find stuff like this, yeah, it irritates me. I don't like people leaving all this line behind, but it also tells me something. People fish here, that's what it tells me. So I'm feeling good about this spot. All right, now for the rigs. First of all, I'm using a two ounce lead on both the rigs with a trolley by rig wrap. I don't think there's a lot of current out there, so two ounces will be fine unless it gets really windy. Then we got a bead and we have a barrel swivel. The leader is 50 pound test mono and the hook is an OT6 octopus by Team Catfish. All right, and now let's talk about the bait. Okay, I brought a bunch of different bait. The first thing we're gonna go for is bluegill. This is the only type of cut bait I brought. Now I've got two of them that were frozen earlier and I thought them. As you can see at the house, I've trimmed the fins off, but I did not trim them deep, just right down to the skin. All right, we're gonna cut this up into probably threes. I have, I have one that I found somewhere on the way it's a little fresher but smaller we might fish with that hole put slits in it let's go for a big bait first and i also brought normal stuff like night crawlers and red worms to catch bait with or if these just fail because sometimes frozen bluegill can be soft after you thaw it. I did vacuum seal these. They're a little better than normal, but frozen bluegill is not my favorite thing to fish with, but that's what we're doing today. Let's see how it works out. When I'm fishing with frozen bluegill, I like to just use it as a chunk bait. I don't fillet it because it'll go soft really fast. And when I hook it, I wanna hook it kind of deep so it stays on if i hook it too far up to the spine to i mean too far up here to the top it'll just rip out it's kind of why i'm using a bigger hook than usual i have aught eights but i think an aught six is just fine for this size bait and of course i've got the gut pocket cut off not too far out there and it doesn't feel too deep maybe eight feet That's a nice blue. He's about maybe 15 pounds, in between 10 and 15 pounds. I'm not gonna bother weighing him. I'm gonna let him go real quick. Pretty nice, huh? Wow. Did you see that? 
fish or something ran into the line. That was insane. Come on, just take it. This is either a gar or a turtle. It would be nice if it's a cat. Let's reel up and see what happens. Nothing's there. Oh, another tap tap. Another tap tap. Gar, it's a little gar. Little gar. Little short nose gar. Here we go. There you go, little short nose gar. And here he goes, back he goes. See you later. Thank you. Don't come back. Well, that's enough for me. I would say it's a pretty successful scouting mission. I found some good water to fish, though there was mostly gar activity here, which I'm not surprised by. This backwater that the river has flooded up into is obviously warmer, so that attracts gar. A lot of gar like warm water, alligator gar especially. I'm, I'm pretty happy, though there is something I'm not happy about, and it's not the hill. Well, I'm not looking forward to going up the hill. I'm having a really bad allergy attack. Since I've been here fishing, it's just been getting worse and worse. It's after six now. I'd kind of like to go up the hill before this allergy attack just zaps all my energy because getting up that big hill is going to take me down a notch. So <clears throat> good, good session. If you liked the video, like, share, subscribe if you haven't, comment down below, tell me what you think, and I will see you next time.